Hi guys, this is Abhimanyu and uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, new jobs in the market and uh, what is happening and uh, what, uh, what will be you have to learn and uh, what you have to focus. So as uh, recently I am doing uh, um, basic uh, search and uh, continuously following on LinkedIn, Nokri and other uh, few job portals. So I mean not job portals, uh, these are like only websites and just just uh, focusing on these things that how things are moving on and uh, continuously f uh, focusing on LinkedIn that uh, people are posting jobs and uh, uh, other peoples are uh, opening for work and they are using this sentimental fun, uh, funda to get their post like and uh, uh, you know I mean uh, attentions they are seeking on the platforms by tagging uh, uh, their old posts in included and uh, some uh, retable uh, searches that are uh, in trending so they are using hashtag on all these things so uh, after this now so i found something that uh, this time people are seeking um, attentions not about the job seekers these are from the job providers for example one of hr uh, they have profile so what they are doing uh, by this with the sentimental comments or, or i mean post and uh, other things so as Indians, so many people are open to work. They are just uh, commenting on that, liking uh, on that, and uh, this this post goes viral. And our uh, Indians mentality that we get something from that, so we just follow them, and uh, it it helps them to increase their uh, followers on the social media and uh, make their make their profile a stronger one, right? So this is uh, uh, too high in india so probably do not get uh, trapped in these things okay so you if you are genuine and uh, you are looking genuinely so probably wait for the right time and just uh, wait for your turn when you get just chance to give interview and uh, when you get chance to interact with the, someone who is uh, starting your process for interview and a new job so that time you have to be very uh, fair and you have to be very clear his intention on that uh, if he is uh, genuinely uh, wants to work with you or it's just on a formality they are doing. So now uh, the few trendings are also uh, going on like they will call you, they will hold an interview, telephone interview or uh, a video interview with you and you will not get any response for the same and you are worrying about it that i have given good interview but uh, it is not uh, that kind of uh, no uh, you you did not get the response as you were expected so this is a common thing are happening why this is happening let me just explain uh, first scenario in that when any recruiter received any job profile, so his agenda, his or her agenda is to submit a maximum uh, profile to the their manager, to the hiring manager, right? So to showing of that uh, I have worked uh, for this and all this, I mean, uh, for this task. So they have, they have to uh, show, yes, these profile I have, then they have shortlisted and uh, even uh, the thing is happening uh, the call telephonic call which uh, call which we are receiving this is also from a non technical person as we are technical so i'm just talking in this sense so this is also totally from the non technical person he just ask you yeah you know power cell you know this you know firewall yes i know you know this troubleshooting on or this os yes i know so he just simply uh select or uh, i mean uh, select or deselect your profile and then you have to be moved to the next uh, round of your interview right and even uh, everyone knows that few questions are there so they have uh, declared these uh, few questions and uh, this would be uh, asked by you right so this is so much happening in India as of now and few are the uh, genuine jobs which are uh, basically uh, looking for the candidate who is deserving. So you have to be very careful while applying on jobs and do not uh, 
flow, uh, just apply everywhere where you get the chance. So, so technically and generally use uh, your, uh, I mean, apply to the that job where you find yourself to be selected position, right? You you find yourself to be perfect for that job if uh, interview were held. So you will be able to crack that interview. So you have to make that kind of confidence while applying on any job. Okay. And uh, sorry for uh, my videos here. So actually I am stuck uh, in something else. So I will try to focus uh, as soon as possible. But uh, my things are not well. So I need some more time to get uh, these things uh, in a right way. And I will start posting videos on YouTube. And... Uh, and now the jobs are opening in India, but uh, the conditions and uh, situation which I'm telling you from the recruiter side and uh, uh, companies will probably be very, uh, I mean, attentive, attentive in that. So you are aware about where you are applying and what for what job you are applying. And uh, related to the career, so probably the people, there is uh, now tragedy. Okay, so the main tragedy which is here, that is uh, small business and mid-level business and enterprise. This is now booming. Okay, so, so many startups are there, so many mid-business, um, I mean, who is startup in 15, 11, I mean, 2015 or uh, 2011 these are the mid level as of now if they have grown very well so this is uh, mid level of and uh, the third is uh, the enterprise enterprise when i'm saying enterprise <laughs> that maybe you are uh, i mean your mind goes to tcs p pro and uh, cl no 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 these are not that type of enterprise okay so these guys are uh, service level companies. So they are working for another company. So this is not uh, that uh, the, the way that if you are in HCL, you get a chance to work on a higher. It's, it's something not like that. So just one second. Okay. So which I'm talking about related to the career. Uh, uh, career. So it's a. Uh, small and mid and uh, enterprise level so the small one which they are looking and basically the measure of uh, business uh, in the market of india these are the smalls and mid okay so small one is uh, looking for the candidate who knows uh, little 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 everything like uh, uh, he they give you the education of network engineer system engineer okay even manager they they can give they are not even sure about these things and they can do anything for you and their requirement is that so uh, you are aware about everything you have to be take care of laptops desktops then you have to be take care of their one or two servers which are totally end of life and they are uh, expecting you to support with the hundred percent of your your talent okay and uh, they have even small firewalls and uh, other networking device which is by third class that there is no sense right so you thinking uh, you think at that level yeah i'm doing wow i'm doing this i'm managing servers i'm managing firewall i'm managing this wi-fi device and when you are going for an interview you are clueless you don't know what to do okay and in the small level business what is happening they have some infrastructure so they can categorize to people who is related to the system admin and who is related to the network but what they are expecting they are expecting to both of them to work on both of uh, uh, i mean both of uh, uh, sites i mean totally infrastructure side what they are planning to do so in that uh, the person who is network and the second person is the who is the system so if they have talent to i mean 
the manager use their talent as max as as max he can because once the person he who is it manager he has to run the site and he has to save the money so in india as per the india so there is uh, so many things that uh, uh, create a problem for a, a person in his career right you get a job and uh, you think you know firewall you know all these things but when it's come to the interview and when your resume were selected for the particular profile which you are working but technically and reality you are not working but on the documentation side you are working you know firewall you know wi-fi you know load balancing you know traffic manager you know so many things okay <sighs> yes so you are doing so many things but this is totally you know useless you know how wi-fi working but when they ask you some higher version of wi-fi you say hey, no 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 i have just configured netgear linksys and uh, tenda and uh, you know what is the name of other one i mean so many are there right so you are just uh, doing this and you know yeah i'm doing that and i am aware about it but when it's come to so many policies and uh, just an example just let me give you an example you have 200 you have 1000 users you have 500 users so how you gonna manage their uh, wi-fi access their key are you going to connect everyone's laptop on that or you have some automation for the same that uh, wi-fi will be auto connected in the system so this is the real question when when your interview ask you and you say oh sorry sir i am not aware about it and you are rejected and in the enterprise level so an enterprise level company what they are doing they have still persons i mean uh, different persons to support their uh, organization they have separate steam for everything just an example the production team to supporting production there is another persons to supporting infrastructure there is another person there is supporting their end users there is another person to supporting their network there is another person another team so this is only happening at the enterprise level and the enterprise level there is totally dependent on the the person who is leading the it to give chance to their people otherwise they did not get any chance and managers uh, i mean the respective managers you can say this end support and user support application infrastructure production and uh, network so their manager hire the persons in their team as per their requirement and who is suitable for them so this is also a tragedy level between this small medium and enterprise and if you are stuck at the level of small and mid level business you will be stuck in the same if you are going for an interview in a mid-level company or a small level company if you are working in a small and mid-level company then you will easily select it that's my guarantee for the same and when you are switching your career to an enterprise level company then you stuck because the scenarios they are asking you never worked on that and you are totally clueless on the same correct so this is the tragedy which is we are facing and uh, we have to be very uh, we have to be work hard and if you are less experienced from the five years so my suggestion is to be switch in enterprise level company and try to be focused on that only don't go for interview and whenever you had an interview and uh, when he asked uh, uh, what uh, do you have any questions so ask for their infrastructure you get to know what is exactly there because we all i also did a mistake and uh, i left a good company for a very third class company and he is not even pay ready to pay for a single land cable 
and this was horrible experience i had and it's totally impacted my full career this the time period i stay there so i mean choosing that company is wasted my whole career just telling you right thing so guys just be focus and uh, i will continue this things in a uh, next video so this video mein itna hi milte hain next mein thank you bye bye